Hey everybody, it's Hari Swaminathan from OptionTiger.com um, and today is December 21st. Uh, we are approaching the year end. This is, uh, this is the year 2022 which started off on a very rocky note and uh, the markets have been uh, down about 20%, 25% uh, for various reasons obviously, uh, not, uh, 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 not to mention the war and, uh, uh, and all the inflation issues. Uh, interest rate hikes and there is of course still a lot of uncertainty but you can still make some money in the markets. Uh, you, what I wanted to do in this video is to showcase all the proprietary uh, algorithms and indicators that Option Tiger has and in fact in our swing service we did a 200% ROI this year on a 50k account we made a profit of $100,000. So uh, even in a down market year like 2022 uh, there are significant opportunities. So the first one I want to show is the multi time frame indicator and the custom RSI over here. The multi time frame indicator, this is of course an intraday chart. The market's just opened and you can see the futures are up. The futures are up about 24 points, but uh, just right after the open, they are taking a dip over here. And uh, you can see that this is a one minute chart. So, what I have configured here is a five minute, 10 minute, 15 minute, and 30 minute. So, you have trends across five different time frames. The lowest is going to be the one minute. So if you're an intraday trader, the lowest one is your most rapidly uh, changing indicator. The next one is a five minute indicator. The, uh, uh, the third one is a 10 minute, a 15 minute and a 30 minute. And then when everything is aligned, you have this master indicator that shows you uh, red or green. So when you see a green, when you see all five of the indicators aligned across all five time frames, the, uh, the master indicator will indicate a green and that's when you can go bullish. You don't have to wait for all five. You can even if four are aligned, uh, you know, that's good enough. But and then when you see the trend changing, uh, like when you see one or two red dots coming in, you get out of your trades. Uh, what I want to also show that this is not just valid for intraday. You can you can use this multi time frame indicator on uh, not just intraday, but any time frame. So even if you're a longer term uh, trader or an investor, you can use this. And so what I want to do is now take you to a daily chart. And then on this daily chart, what we're looking at is each bar is a one days of price action. So you can see now here clearly uh, the all time highs are 4,800 and we are at 3,800. So which means about a 25%, 20 to 25% drop uh, in the year 2022. Uh, and over the last few days, you can see we've been seeing some bearish action. However, if you go back uh, from now, because if, you, if you're not a day trader, you want to you know, kind of stay in a trade for a few days. And so what I have the configuration here, you can see uh, the chart itself is a daily chart. That is always the lowest level of the indicator, the lowest uh, row. And then I've configured the, this to two days, three days, four days and a week. And so once you have all five of those time frames aligned, you're going to see the master indicator light up. So for example, if you saw it right here, uh, you, would, you would want to take a bullish position here and then you're staying in this trade for a long time. Uh, you're staying in this trade for almost a month there. Just because you see one red dot, it's not time to come out. Once you see two or three red dots, yes, it's time to come out. So you can stay in this trade for a long time. The custom RSI is also customized to help you stay in the trade. If you recall the custom RSI, it tells you overbought and oversold. In this case, the custom RSI has been uh, customized so that it helps you stay in the trade. So as long as you're up in the bullish area here, you can stay in a bullish trade. And then as long as you're in, a, in the bearish area here, you can stay in it. The moment it comes out, that's the time to get out. And of course, some of these indicators will also tell you that. So both of these, you know, work well, very well together. Now, what I also want to show is the SPX ticks. And of course, the SPX ticks uh, is an intraday uh, uh, kind of uh, indicator. If you're an SPX options uh, intraday trader, this works very, very well ticks. So I have another chart here, which uh, gives you the ticks as well as the custom RSI. Uh, and of course, uh, it only works on the SPX when the markets open. So you can see the markets have opened and what the ticks does, it's a cumulative reading of all 500 stocks of the SPX and if it's and if uh, most of them are ticking up you will see a green if most of them are ticking down you'll see a red and today of course the futures are up nicely about 23 points you can see that the ticks have also started ticking up now this is yesterday's price action over here 
yesterday was a mildly positive day, not a whole lot. But you can see that once you see the ticks also aligned with the custom RSI, that's another way of taking this trade. Now, I also want to show two more algos in this, uh, in this uh, video. Uh, one is, if you see the left side here, my watch list, and I have two columns here, day trades and, and swing trades. They act as your inbuilt scanner. So they give you the best opportunity. So let's look at day trades first. So let's take a look at some of the uh, bullish stocks. Here it says Apple is very bullish. So now, yeah, you can see that. You can see that right away. If you wanted to day trade Apple, uh, this is a very, very nice chart. But of course, you want to wait for the nice entry point now. It's already too, too high. So you don't want to get in at this point. Let's look at Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs also. So let me link this. And uh, let's uh, let's look at Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs, yeah, it ended 344. It's up $3. And uh, yes, it is very bullish. Let's take a look at one of the bearish stocks here on the day trading chart. I'm only referring to the day trading chart. Let's look at Starbucks. Yeah, Starbucks closed at 98. And now you can see that it's uh, opened at 96. So immediately by looking at this filter, by looking at your watch list, uh, inside this watch list, uh, inside this day trades algo is, you know, there is all kinds of information going on. There is momentum, there is volume, there is uh, 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 three different moving averages that is being calculated. And so all of this is going into this algorithm. So this is as far as the day trades is concerned. What I want to turn now is to the swing trades, uh, the swing trades column. So for the swing trades column, you want to move to a, a daily chart. So let's go to a daily chart because the swing trades, you're not concerned about uh, movement on a particular day. You want to see what the average, uh, you know, what the overall trend is over the next few days or the next few weeks. So what I'm going to do now is to sort this on the swing trades column. On the swing trades, it says Caterpillar is very bullish. And so let's take a look at Caterpillar. Sure, it is very bullish. And you can see all five of the uh, of the multi time frame indicator are, are aligned. You can see the custom RSI has just moved into the into the bullish. And so this is a very nice time to get into Caterpillar. However, uh, you might see some, uh, some kind of resistance here. Uh, so you would want to wait to see if it breaks through that. If it does break through that, then, uh, then Caterpillar can go much higher. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have any others on the bullish. So let's take a look at uh, something that's bearish. Now, Tesla is bearish for various reasons, uh, not the least of which uh, is uh, Elon Musk's uh, comments and uh, everything that's going on with Twitter and also things going on with Tesla itself. But Tesla is bearish and you can see that uh, on the swing trading uh, on the swing trading chart, uh, the last six or seven days have been bearish. In fact, the last uh, 10 days or 12 days have been bearish. So once you saw this, if you wanted to take a bearish trade on uh, Tesla, you can buy some put options, hold on to it. And like I said, if you just see one dot that is out of line, that's not enough to get you out of the trade. Uh, you want to stay in the trade. You want to see at least two, at least three dots before you get out of the trade. So Tesla has obviously been very uh, bearish. Let's come back to Caterpillar uh, and look for a nice trend that happened here. Here's a very good trend right here. You know, it went on for almost uh, five weeks or six weeks. Uh, you know, if you caught this somewhere here, uh, let's say yeah, you can't catch it perfectly, but let's say you went two days into it and you caught it here on, uh, uh, on October the 6th. And then you are in this trade. And if you bought uh, a call option for even at the $200 uh, strike price, you are sitting on that trade even all the way up till here when you see two or three dots, you know, up till here, two or three dots, that's the time to get out of the trade. But what a move, you move from 176 and went up to almost 230. So you can imagine uh, even an out of the money call option would have been uh, phenomenal in those circumstances. Similarly, if you're looking at uh, a bearish trade, and once again, let's go to uh, something that's uh, bearish, Google. Uh, here we go on Google. So here uh, you can see that the five, uh, the five dots are aligned right here. And if you took a trade over there, yeah, you took, uh, took a little bit of heat over there, but there's still only one dot. So not enough to get you out of the trade. And you can uh, ride the down wave and you're still riding the down wave right now. Uh, let me give another couple of examples. Goldman Sachs actually is happens to be bearish on the swing trading column. So let's go take a look at that. Yeah, sure enough, it is bearish on the swing trading. It might be bullish on the day trading, but it's uh, it's very uh, uh, bearish on the swing trading. So once you saw these five dots aligned over here, uh, you can take the trade, let's say on the second dot, 
and uh, once uh, you know like i said don't don't be uh, shaken out by just one dot you want to stay in the trade and you're still riding this uh, uh, this downward uh, movement here let's take a look at chipotle once again chipotle has just been bearish for the last uh, six days or so uh, this is where it started and if you took the trade on the next day if you took a, a put option trade you would still be in this trade so this is how uh, this uh, uh, these algos work so the day trade column and the swing trade column those two algos give you the best possible candidates and you can create this uh, your, your own watch list you can put all kinds of stocks in it whatever you're following i've just got a sample of about 20 to 30 stocks here uh, but you can create your own watch list the day trading column and the swing trading column gives you the best filters the best scans what are the best candidates right now once you zero in on that then you want to move to the mtft and custom rsi so you zero in your, on your trades from your day trades and your swing trades column then you come to the chart and depending on whether you're day trading or swing trading you would want to look at the mtft and the custom rsi custom rsi just keeps you in the trade for as long as possible it doesn't take you out early you uh, you can hold on to your winners as much as you can uh, obviously we cannot time it perfectly on the way down or on the way up uh, you, you have to give a little buffer there but if you can capture 75 80 percent of the move uh, that is a fantastic trade and that's how we've done our, um, our uh, swing trades and so what we're going to do is uh, you're going to see some specials here this is 21st December we have for the next two weeks some killer specials on all of these algos and indicators and that's what you're going to see coming up Hey everybody, it's Hari Swaminathan again. You're looking at the Option Tiger website. You can see a ticker over here on the top. Uh, the annual specials are on right now. You can click the check now button and it will take you to the page uh, which has all the annual specials. That is this URL, annual hyphen specials. And uh, uh, Merry Christmas and best wishes for 2023. Uh, these are some killer products that are on sale uh, for, uh, the, for the rest of this month and until January 5th. Um, as you've seen, uh, the multi uh, time frame indicator is off 67%. This is a very, very powerful indicator and it goes along with the custom RSI very well. And of course, for day trading or swing trading, you can have these algos that sit on your watch list uh, and you can get both of them for a, a total of 497. Uh, you can also get the SPX sticks uh, algo for 497. So this is all between 65 and 75% off. And then if you come down here, you can see the you can see the second special, which is all of uh, the Option Tiger uh, education products. Normally these are 297. So this is about 70% off. You have the beginners module, intermediate module and advanced module. You can click all of these links to know more. Um, all of these courses, uh, or rather all of these, uh, uh, these modules have a lot of courses in them. You can see the beginners module itself has about uh, 15, 16 courses and that's the way the intermediate as well as the advanced uh, is structured. So, uh, and then of course we have uh, the mastery module, which is the max systems. There are nine very powerful max systems. These are beyond advanced and they are also at 60% off. So they're all 79 each right now. Uh, they usually go for 197. And then finally, we have a swing trading service. Uh, you know, this is, uh, this is a flagship service of uh, Option Tiger. In fact, last two years, 2021 and 22, we've been doing a 200% ROI. You can get a six month package here for 447. You can get the 12 month package for 797, or you can get the monthly service for 79 per month. So these are our annual specials. Uh, what you want to do is please add up all the products you want to buy in, in terms of the cost. You can just calculate uh, the total, uh, whichever ones you want to buy, and then log into your PayPal account. And you don't need to have a PayPal account if you're going to use a credit card. But if you do have one, you can log into your PayPal account and please send the amount to our PayPal uh, email address, which is info at optiontiger.com. After you do the purchase, please email us at info at optiontiger.com and let us know which products uh, you'd like to purchase. Uh, please allow 24 hours at least uh, because these are all done manually. So this is a comprehensive list of all our specials. Uh, algos have never gone for so low a price. You can get all five algos for $16.97. This is also 70% off. If you have any questions, please email us at info at optiontiger.com. Thanks.